Hello, my name is Ornella Rajena Twanj. I am recently graduated in biochemistry and will start soon my PhD at the University of Antananarivo. When the Berlin Wall fell on 9th November 1989, I was not even yet in my mother's womb. Let's say that some of the stuff I made up with were still locked in carrots, zucchini and rice. I wanted to become a dentist. Unfortunately, this wish didn't come true. But I am nevertheless proud of what I am now as a biochemist. And I even think that biochemistry is a driving force in the field of medical sciences. On this 21st anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, it's a great pleasure for me to present you my ID to break the wall of high blood pressure daily medication. High blood pressure, mainly caused by the construction of the blood vessels, is the most common cardiovascular disease and the leading cause of stroke. It can also cause kidney and cardiac failures. Researchers estimate that high blood pressure currently kills 9 million persons a year. This disease exposes a person to a long-term, even a lifelong daily treatment. Taking drugs daily can be overwhelming for some patients, especially people with disabilities. Many forget to take them regularly, which may allow stroke to occur. One of the most recommended treatments are ACE inhibitors, which includes powerful substances like perindopril and lamipril. This class prevents the formation of the responsible hormone for the construction of the arteries, decreasing therefore the pressure of the blood flow. A way to avoid stroke risks due to oblivion and to help the patients to get rid of the burden of taking pills every day is by changing them into implants. Implants can be filled at a controlled time or replaced when necessary. The key is a PTFE or polytetrafluoroethylene implant, a flexible material placed under the skin. This material is highly tolerated and often used in cardiac surgery. This implant will release continuously the readily soluble hypotensive substance at a flow reaching the recommended daily dose. Depending on the prescription, its capacity to discharge active elements can make it last three to six months. The implant contains pores permitting the adequate dosage of substances like ACE inhibitors to flow automatically in the body. It can be refilled through a valve coated by the same material. Moreover, the size and the shape of the implant will be itemized to make it economic and practical for the peer. To conclude, this medical device, preventing lack of medication, is very advantageous for patients suffering from digestive sensitivity and persons with mental or physical disabilities. As an alternative of drug administration, it can also be used as a drug carrier in case of other long-term treatments like cardiac failure and not only for high blood pressure. Last but not least, this implant is very eco-friendly as it is long-lasting and reducing pollution. Today, a person suffering from high blood pressure has to take pills every day, making them feel under the thumb of that restrictive treatment. The technology of a polytetrafluoroethylene implant, or PTFE, which is tolerated by the human body and that has no allergy case reported yet, could be turned into a life-saving device by automatically releasing the necessary dosage every day, and this without extra costs for the patients. Firstly, the use of the polytetrafluoroethylene implant, or PTFE, will be very practical and available for diverse patient types. This device will not be more expensive than pills, but will relatively have the same cost. Secondly, the drugs that should be ingested daily will be part of their everyday life without being burdensome. And finally, it also takes part to the protection of the environment, no other packaging than vial. My parents are the two suffering from high blood pressure. They often forget to take pills 
and sometimes until the one or the other doesn't feel well. They have difficulties with the daily intake of pills, although that has been already a long time they're pursuing this treatment. And in addition to this matter, all of the packaging are generating too much trash. Will patients dare to carry this device? Although polytetrafluoroethylene is highly tolerated, may there be eventual side effects? Clinical trials first needs to be done, which requires external funding.